there, hello to everyone. This is Cooking from Canet. Here we are again, another day, another recipe. And it's been a few videos now. I think people are quite enjoying them. I hope they are useful. And you know, my aim is that you guys get to know what we really cook in a Spanish home. And for this, um, I sometimes pick traditional recipes like paella or uh, a fish stew or a suquet or empanada. And some other times I pick a modern recipe because we are not always eating, you know, those paellas and stews and that. Um, so today I'm going to make veggie burgers, which are very healthy and obviously better than the ones that you're going to get in the supermarket. And the ingredients are easy to get and affordable and it's all good. So let me show you the ingredients I have prepared here as per usual. So to make these burgers, I think I'm going to make like eight, it's going to be like eight. Um, we need aubergines, one or two. Red peppers, I'm going to use two because they are not very, very big. And two onions that I have to peel. And some garlic, parsley and two eggs. And also we need these oats that I'm going to green and I'm going to turn it into uh, flour, oat flour. Because I think you can also make it with um, uh, breadcrumbs, but this is going to be a healthier option. And yeah, so that's all we need. Um, I have preheated the oven at 250 degrees Celsius, which is the maximum temperature. And the only thing we have to do is, first of all, bake the vegetables i'm gonna put them in a tray here like that and i'm going to peel the onion before it goes in the oven and these vegetables um, are going to take 45 minutes to cook so you'll see when we get them out, they're gonna be burned uh, outside, but tender inside, and we'll have to peel them off once they cool down. But let's go step by step. So, step by step. Now, peel the onions, put all the vegetables on the tray, and in the oven for 45 minutes they might be ready earlier than that maybe half an hour because it's maximum temperature but we'll see and don't forget in that time to keep checking them and move them a bit all right so okay that can go in vegetables in and I'll see you when they are done. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are back. The vegetables are done. It took half an hour. You can see what they look like, like a bit burned outside, but we're going to peel them off. And so what I've done is I have let them to cool down a bit because it's easier than to peel them. And in the meantime, I have prepared the parsley and the garlic. I have already chopped and also I have prepared the oat flour, which basically you put the oats in the food processor two seconds and it comes like this. And now let's peel the vegetables. So, let me get some tuna. Uh, let's start with the aubergine. You see now it's easier to peel them. You can do it with your fingers if you want. Like this. And you can, with the help of a fork, if there is, uh, or if there are bits on the skin, this comes up very nicely. But yeah, you can do it with a fork as well like this and 
and yeah you do the same with the peppers and once you've done that you're going to transfer the vegetables on a plate uh, with a, some kitchen roll and the kitchen roll is going to absorb the juices uh, that they might have still because we want them quite dry to um, uh, go to the second step that I'm going to show you in a minute. So I'll see you in a bit. Super, so here we are. We have peeled the vegetables, basically the aubergine and, and the peppers. And what we have to do now is we have to, you see, well, have a look, you see how the juices are coming out? So this is why we are keeping it, I don't know if you can see it very well there, but yeah, the kitchen roll is absorbing them because we want them dry. And what we're going to do now is chop them, put them in a big bowl that I have already here, and add the rest of the ingredients. So. Let's start with the peppers. Right, this is chopped nicely. And what we have to do is add it to the bowl. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the rest and I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so here we are. We have the vegetables here in the bowl. And now what we have to do is to add the rest of the ingredients, the garlic and the parsley. Super. And also two eggs. Okay. salt, a bit of salt to suit your taste, yeah, that's enough. and now we mix everything, let's mix this first very well, the egg and the vegetables, This is definitely going to be much, much better than the ones that you're gonna get in the supermarket, I'll tell you. Okay, super. And now, little by little, we are going to be adding the oat flour. I have 100 grams in there. Not sure if I'm gonna use it all because we don't want it to be too dry. So if we put too much, the, it is going to be too dry, so we don't want that. Um, right, let's see. Just a little bit. And mix everything again. Because now what we're going to do is, after we've put the oat flour in, we are going uh, to leave it for 20 minutes to rest because the oats are going to absorb all the humidity. So, a bit more, can do with a bit more. And yeah, so after this, after these 20 minutes, if you still think it's too runny, because we don't want it too runny, right? So after these 20 minutes, if you think it needs more oat flour, then you can add some more. Let me see, I'm gonna put in more. Right. I think this is now getting the consistency we want. So hungry, what time is it? Two o'clock already, time flies. And yeah, well, you'll see once you have the burgers, you can um, 
cut them with a bit of salad on the side, which is what I'm going to do, or in a burger bun. Um, I think I'll go for the healthier option because I, I don't want to eat too much bread. Okay, I think this is now getting the consistency we like. Have a look. You see? It's quite... All is very well mixed up. And yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave it now for 20 minutes. See what it looks like later. And I'm going to start getting the pan ready. And I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so here we are. I've got the pan ready. I've put a bit of olive oil and now it's hot. Uh, it's on a medium heat, so we're going to make them on a medium heat. And I have used the rest of the oat flour in the end, because I thought I don't want them to be too runny. Uh, and we want them to uh, have them in one piece, obviously, because we're making burgers. So I think it's going to work better like this. Um, right, now, a tablespoon. We take a bit, like this, of the mixture. And then we put it in the pan and what we have to do is shape it a little bit like this these are going to be mini burgers and yeah we put them in the pan like this we wait until they are done underneath and they are a bit golden and then we'll start flipping them over and I'm starting now at this point I have to say the nearly there once we've done this that's all we have to do everything is done I have already prepared a little bit of a green salad to go with it uh, as I said, you can have them in a bun, like a meaty burger, and you can put some lettuce and tomato and cheese and whatever you like. But I'm gonna go for the healthier option this time. This time, eh? <laughs> uh, You can start moving them like this, they are quite in one piece. Yummy, yummy. I'm hungry. Right. Super. So I think we can start now flipping them over. Yay. One. Carefully, like this. They look nice and golden. And healthy, which is the main thing, right? Tasty, that's the main thing as well. Hmm. Okay, so I think these ones are done. Yes, see, and I'm starting dishing up my lunch. If at some point um, you are starting to say you need uh, more oil, obviously, just a tiny little drop more. Remember, not too greasy. And maybe we have here, maybe for two more. Not sure. Let's see.
Super. All right, so I'll come back when all this is done. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. Burgers are ready. We've made eight here and three more over there that I've saved for my lunch. And let me show you a little bit better. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you like them. And I'll see you next time. Bon appetit.